multiplication grid. Here is a grid. For the table of 1, the answer is the number that you multiply it with. For example, 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. So I write a 1 here. Now let's multiply 1 with 2, which is 2. And similarly, you can write all the numbers of the table of 1. Like 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 5 is 5. And then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now let's look at the table of 2. In the table of 2, you would add 2 as many times as the number that you are multiplying it with. And same applies with the rest of the numbers in the grid. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is, well to solve this, 2 times 2 is adding 2 2 times which is 4 2 times 3 is basically 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is 6 2 times 4 is basically adding 2 4 times which is Eight. And the rest is 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Can you see a difference of 2 in each number? Like 2 plus 2 is 4 and these are keep on adding on with 2. Let's do the table of 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Because you are adding 3 2 times. Three times three is basically three plus three plus three, which equals nine. Three times four is basically adding three four times. And that is 12. Can you try to solve other ones? Three times five is 15. 18. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 9 is 27. And last and lastly 3 times 10 is 30. Now let's do the table of 4. And using the same logic, I will write all the numbers. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And then 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and then 40. Can you see the patterns of numbers here? Like 1, 2, 3, 4. And across also 1, 2, 3, 4 and all the way up to 10. And also 2, 4, 6, 8. You could see that we are getting the same question again.
like 2 times 3 6 and 3 times 2 6 and do you see a pattern of numbers like 3 6 9 12 3 6 9 12 and I think the 15 will also be here now I'm going to do the whole grid from 5 to 10 and then we will see the magic of numbers in this multiplication grid. I have filled this whole grid and now let's watch some patterns in this grid. So like, ooh, if you see the column of 1 and the row of 1, they have the same numbers. And if you look at the second row and the second column, they also have the same numbers. Similarly, for 3, 4, 5 and up to 10. If we see the 6th row and the 6th column and we meet here, six, which is 6 times 6, that is 36 and that is the square of 6. And if you look diagonally, you can see all the squares. And in all these numbers, there is a difference. In this diagonal, if you subtract the smaller number from the bigger number, then you will find a pattern like 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on. Let's give you a task. Can you try to identify other patterns in this grid? Bye! Thank you for watching!